Okay, lesson 13 is the first lesson that's very specifically for percussion. So every instrument will have a separate page on this one. Clarinets have the fingerings for clarinet. Trombones have the positions for trombone. But all we're doing here is kind of a speed test of learning to recognize the note on the staff and then find the note on the keyboard. As always, let's start off by writing our name at the top of the page. Okay, so the very first thing that I want you to do is go through and just name the note. So this very first note here, below that ledger line is B, and don't forget the flat sign, okay? This one's easy, ledger line, C, above a C is D, first line of the staff is E flat, now we go back and do our B flat again. F, now you should know all of these. The ones with ledger lines may be a little bit difficult. Below the first ledger line is B flat. Remember you write B flat, not flat B. E flat, and then with the ledger line is C. Now we're gonna take a minute and just color in the correct notes on the keyboards below. Now these keyboards are a little weird because I have two and three in my accidentals, but I also have this one that's kind of by itself. Now, when we're playing on a xylophone or bells or marimba, there's different amounts of notes in each one of those instruments. Sometimes you'll have all the way down to an F, so you'll have all three of the accidentals. Sometimes it'll go down to a C, so you'll have both of the accidentals. But sometimes it might be a A is the lowest note on the keyboard, in which case you'll just have one accidental of the set of three by itself. Kind of is what it is. If we use this set of two here as our kind of base to know where C is, then B flat is going to be that low note kind of by itself. Here's B flat goes down a half step. C, remember our two accidentals, this is simple. D is a note above that. E flat, here's C, D, E, here's E flat. These are pretty tiny, so kind of have to do that. B flat, all right, we already did one of them, so you should know what the next one is. F, okay, here's my three accidentals. Here's my F, home key, C, should be able to find that pretty fast. B flat, by now, you know it's that one hanging out there by, its, by itself. A lot of marimbas uh, are made with a low A, so marimbas more probably more than any other instrument, you'll see that one accidental hanging out there by itself. Okay, uh, E flat, C, D, E flat, and then C. Just right there below the two accidentals. Okay, let's do 11 through 20. Let's name the notes. We have a G, we have an F. Now remember, if it doesn't have a flat sign, you don't write the flat above. E, but now I have a flat sign. We should recognize the B flat pretty quick. I'm gonna go through these pretty fast. You should be able to recognize these notes quickly. Okay, remember the D is right below, here's E right below the staff. Okay, now let's color those notes in. Remember, on all of these keyboards, I have a group of two and a group of three. C is the one below two, uh, F is the one below three. So my G is here, my F, we find these pretty fast, C, D, E, flat, B flat, remember we're just gonna, that one's gonna be hanging out by itself, G. Okay, find my F, G, we don't have much to color in, C, F, G, find your F, go up a step, B flat, note hanging off by itself, and D. If you know where your C is, then you can find a D. So pretty quick, as you get faster at these, okay, just think really fast and try to get through the whole line as quickly as possible. That's gonna help you when you learn how to read music. All right, let's flip over to the back half of the page. This is exactly the same thing, but now I'm just 
giving you the notes. You have to draw the notes in on the staff and then color the keys. So let's do this one at a time. D. Now it's not going to be D up here. I want you to go below the staff. D. Okay. Remember that our low C is here. D would be the next step. So as we go down, B, A, and here's your B flat. Okay. So you just figure out the keyboard and then keep going. E flat. Here's an E. Now the flat sign appears before the note. C, D, E, flat. F, get it in that space. F is easy to find from the home key. D, right below the staff. Because C is here. D, E is the first note there. All right, C, I just did it. <laughs> C. B flat. Now I'm going to go down here on the B flat. Okay. So right below the ledger line, and I'm going to color in that B flat. E flat. Here's my E. Here's my flat sign. C D E flat. Okay. You start recognizing that the E flat is the top one of the two accidentals. Pretty easy to find. All right. B flat. Again, below the staff. You could do it up here. Okay. Below the staff is this note. Up here is that note. You could do both if you want. F. Okay. You find F quickly using your landmarks. D. Okay. D is right below the staff and above C. Okay. Let's keep going. We're going to go as fast as possible. Here we go. G. Find G. B flat. Low B flat. F. Here's my F. G. Find my G. D. Below the staff. C. With the ledger line. C. E flat. Here's my E. Got to write my flat sign. Don't forget your flat sign. E flat. G. There's my G. B flat. I'm going to go below the staff again. There's about it by itself. And last one is F. Okay, we finished up with lesson number 13. So hopefully you're able to find the notes on the staff and then transfer your knowledge of that to finding the keys on the keyboard because really that's what reading music is all about. It's recognizing notes on the staff, finding the notes on the keyboard, and striking that with a great sound. Okay, I'll join you in lesson number 14.